Darian Lake. I'm Ivy Winters. And you're watching Queen Acres. Queen Acres. This channel is all about do-it-yourself, homemade, everything arts and crafts, yummy deliciousnessness. Why deal with the extravagant prices of the stores when you can make something for free or on the cheap mm -hmm. for yourself or for your friends or loved ones if you have any? Exactly. This episode is Holiday Spectacular. We're going to show you how to make these delightful oven mitts to make yourself and give us gifts as Christmas presents. Oh my god, these would be great for your grandmother, your mother, your daddy. Ooh, yeah. yeah. You know, if he doesn't cook, you can always shove like one of those ice scrapers in here and then it keeps his nice fat paw all nice and toasty when he scrapes off the car. Dual action. Yeah. Ooh. For today's DIY oven mitt, I have created my own little template, uh, which you can find right below, PDF style. It comes in two parts, a little mitten and a cuff. If you want to do a solid uh, oven mitt, you can actually, where the lines meet up, you can just create this as one full template. But when you print this out, it'll come in two pieces, two separate pieces. You can see I've got little, um, little triangles that line up. You can see there's seam allowance that's one fourth of an inch. So you want to cut out this material first. Voila. Just like that. Now what kind of material is this? This is quilting material. It's just 100% cotton for your little cup. If you want to do a little cup, cut out your uh, contrasting fabric here. So we've got the two fabrics here. This is for your facing the outside of your oven mitt. Facing. Now, you're gonna be also cutting out your lining. You're gonna take both pieces and see these little lines right here? That is your seam allowance. And you're going to want to line these bed boys up just like so and cut out two pieces for your lining. Here's my full piece pattern. You can see the difference between the sizes. Ah! You will also need cotton batting. You could just go to like the fabric store and just say, I need cotton batting, and they'll point you in the right direction. So you're gonna want one for the facing and the backing of your hand. So front and back, you want two pieces. Okay, so we have our cotton batting, our lining, and then our facing yes. with the contrasting Color. Cut. So what you want to do is take one of the mitts and one of the cuffs and you want to go ahead and stitch those together. Now are you stitching the right sides together? Right sides, so you put the right sides uh, together and you want to go ahead and give it a, a one-fourth seam allowance. So you got your little seam allowance and your knit. Mm -hmm. You want to go ahead and do that to front and back. It's a straight stitch. Everything's all straight stitch. I enjoy a heterosexual stitch. So we got our front and back uh, stitch together. Now it's time to take a single piece of batting hmm. to our uh, facing. Go ahead and lay that on there smooth like this. You can pin, safety pin, straight pin, clip. Make sure that the batting and the facing is pinned together smoothly. There's no ripples or wrinkles. And you're having the good side facing out. Facing outward, exactly. Ah. So the negative side, the bad side is close <laughs> to the batting. So all the pretty stuff is on the outside. Now can you get creative and, and do like different sort of shapes if you want to? Like make it look like a big tube of lipstick? Of course. Or, oh or yeah. Maybe even put fingernails on there. Yeah, you could definitely attach fingernails. This is actually the time to make your oven mitt look pretty. So like here I did a little snowman and he's peeing. And it says, happy holidays. In P. Isn't that? In P. Once you have both sides all pinned together, you can head to your sewing machine. This is the creative fun part that you all can do. It can be stitching wherever. You can have a, uh, this is just a regular presser foot on my sewing machine oh. um, with white thread. I'm just going to be doing straight stitch so you guys know um, everyone can do this with your sewing machine at home. So we're going to go ahead and start stitching both of the cotton batting and the facing together. How you're stitching this, you can go parallel, you can go crisscrossy, zigzag, swirly, any type of stitch pattern you want, stitching the fabric to the cotton batting. However you wanna do it, as long as it's stitched together, you're, you're good to go. So now that you have your facings to your cotton batting stitched together, you're going to want to go ahead and cut around the outside border of each piece. All right, so all of our batting is cut off of away from our pattern. 
So you can see the cotton batting is stitched together. So what we're gonna do is take the right sides and put them together of both mitten pieces, like so. Now you can pin, clip, however you want to make sure these are stable. I don't feel like I need to pin them because it's such a small piece and I'm pretty sure I can get them exact. So feel free to pin if you want. We're gonna go ahead and stitch one fourth of an inch all the way around the edge, keeping the wrist open so your hand can go inside. Mm. Just make sure everything's lined up nicely, especially if you're not using pins or clips. Now that we got both pieces stitched together, we're gonna go ahead and take our scissors and we're going to clip and take away some of the fabric that is on close to some of these curves. Otherwise it won't look proper when you flip it inside out. With your scissors, you want to take and clip right here next to the thumb, right on top of the seam, right where it comes to a point. Okay. And same with the rounded edge here and the rounded edge here. This will make sure that when you flip it right side out, that everything will lay really, really nicely and it won't be buckled or... And everybody likes a nice lay. Now that is done, the next step is to stitch together your lining. We're gonna put the right sides together, like so. And we're gonna stitch the same way we did here, but we're gonna leave an opening about this big on this side of the oven mitt. And that's so you can turn it right side out when you attach both pieces to both pieces. Um, if you stitch this closed, you're gonna have a problem later, so keep this part open. Now that the lining is made, mm -hmm. we got the little break right here. We're going to cut right here and around the curve of the top of the mitt, just like we did to the facing. Oh. Snippity doo da. Because otherwise, it'll look ugly. Huh? It oh. won't look good. And nobody likes anything that's ugly. The next step is to take your regular part of the oven mitt and you want to flip it inside out. Now that you have your lining stitched together and clipped and trimmed, you have your facing right side out put together. You want to cut about two inch by four inch or three inch little rectangle of fabric. Now, this is totally optional. If you want a little tab, like on this oven mitt, you want a little tab to be able to hang on a little hook or be cutesy in your kitchen, go ahead and cut out a little piece like this. And you want to just stitch it together. Hmm. And once you have that, you want to go ahead and flip it inside out. You want to slip on your oven mitt, like so. Uh -oh. And then you want to take your handy dandy lining and with the right sides together, we're to, so just the way we stitched it, and the oven mitt that is flipped inside out, we're going to put them on together. Now this is a little awkward. Yeah. Takes a little finagling. Don't use lube, you don't need it. Mm. It just slides right on. Lube? Never know with crafting. Mm. You know, you can make your own lube. <laughs> you can make your own lube! We'll teach you later. <laughs> it's crazy. And it's non-toxic and so much cheaper. If you want to be able to learn how to make your own lube, stay tuned for Queen Acres, and we'll show you how to do that. <laughs> you want to go ahead and match the seams. So the seams here and here, you want to make sure that they're matching oh. both side seams from the lining to the facing. And you want to go ahead and pull it off. You take your little tab that you made and fold it in half. And on this side of the oven mitt, the side that the lining has the opening, the other side of the thumb, you want to go ahead and stick the loop down in between the lining and the facing. Oh. So it's on the seam on the side of the oven mitt. And the next step is we're gonna stitch around this right here, holding the loop, the lining, and the facing all together. So what you wanna do is from the inside, you see the loop, how I'm doing this? You wanna open up the presser foot and slide it right on. So instead of sliding this whole tube through the foot of the sewing machine, we're gonna do it on the top of it. And this works slowly. So as soon as the fabric hits the end of my presser foot, that's when I know that's good to go. Now you have it stitched all the way around, we're gonna grab the inside and pull it out. Ah. That's why we have that opening there. Ah. So we can turn everything right side out and it looks all pretty. Mm. Yes, so you're left with something that looks like this, right? So before you push this back inside this, we're gonna go ahead and stitch this whole closed. Before you push the lining 
back into the yes, the basin. Knit. We want to stitch that hole closed. So I just folded the insides together. So it looks pretty. So it looks pretty, just like this. See? Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and stitch that closed. Now that that's stitched closed, we can push all of this on the inside. Push it real good. Push it, push it real good. Yeah. Wow, so that's so easy how to make an oven mitt. I know, right? I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed sharing how to make one. Thank you so much for watching our first episode of Queen Acres. Happy holidays and stay tuned for all of our fabulous next episodes of do-it-yourself fun craftiness. Share, love, like, follow, subscribe, and share these guys. If you guys make them, I want to see them. See them online. Post them. If you have an idea of something that we should show you how to do, let us know. Let us know. Fill in the comments below and we will get right on top of it and see if we can DIY your ideas.